Welcome to this Blackpool Music School video all about the acoustic bass guitar. I am using an acoustic fretless bass in this video. These are not frets, these are just line markers. Think of them as stabilizers on your bicycle when you are learning to ride. But this technique works on electric, acoustic, any sort of bass. As long as we are tuned E, A, D, G going down, E, A, D, G, you are fine. To get the most from this video, you will have need to have seen the previous three. So let's get started. We are covering the 1625 Jazz introduction. Like I said in the previous videos, if they're in uppercase, it's a major. If it's in lowercase, it's a minor. That's the Roman numerals. And the 1, 6, 2, 5 comes from the scale, the major scale of the key you're in. So, in this case, we're in the key of C. So, let's get started. In the previous videos, you've seen me play root 5th, root 5th, root flatted 3rd, root flatted 3rd for the minors. So, we're going to add something to that. So, we're going to move from one chord to the other by adding an additional note. So to go from C to A minor, we're doing root, fifth, root on the one, two, three of that bar. Now for the fourth beat, we're going to play the fourth fret of the A string and then play the root, flatted third, root, flatted third. So it's root, fifth, root of the C chord. Then the fourth count will be on the fourth fret of the E string and then root flatted third, root flatted third on the A minor. Like this, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Okay, so that is C. Okay, so C and A minor again. Root, fifth, root, or one, two, three. For the fourth beat, you're playing the 4th fret of the E string, 4, then root, flatted 3rd, root, flatted 3rd for the A minor. But you're going to play this way, 1, 2, 3. Then going from the A minor to the D minor, you play root, flatted 3rd, root. Then the 4th beat of that bar, it's the 4th fret of the A string, that's the 4th fret of the A string on the 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Then you play D minor, root, flatted, root, flatted third, root, root, flatted, root, flatted third, root, flatted third, okay? But you're only going to play root, flatted third, root. For the fourth beat of that bar, you're going to play the fourth fret of the E string again, then go into the G. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we'll go for that again. So from C to A minor, you're playing root, fifth, root, one, two, three. For the fourth count of that bar, you're playing the fourth fret of the E string, four. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The D minor, the A minor, sorry. One, two, three. That's root, flatted third, root. For the 4th beat of that bar, it is the 4th fret of the A string, 4. Then root, flatted 3rd, root for the D minor, 1, 2, 3. For the 4th of that one, you are bar, you are playing the 4th fret of the E string, 4. Then G chord normally, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it sounds like this now. And as you can hear, that sounds quite professional. So what we're doing is we're going to the pre the one fret that way to the bar we're going to play. So you may have noticed we went to the fourth fret of the E string from the C to go to the A minor because the A minor is at the fifth. The D minor, we went one fret that way, or either end is fine. So you can do root, fifth, root. Play it that way if you wish. So we'll go for that again. Root, fifth, root. So again, C to A minor is root, fifth, root of the C chord. The fourth beat of that bar is the fourth fret of the E string. One, two, three, four. 
A minor, one, two, three. The fourth beat of that bar is the fourth fret, is the fourth fret of the A string. One, two, three, four. D minor is one, two, three. So again, if you watch all the videos, you can link all of these together sort of like that. It's up to you how you wish to implement these. But that's a basic, excuse the pun, there must be a better pun than that surely. This is a basic video on how to do a 1-6-2-5 jazz turnaround. So either way is fine, you know, this... Or this... Or this. All of that is perfectly fine. It's which you wish to do. Though the walking bass line, which is this one really. You will admit sounds a little bit more professional and you sounds like you know what you are doing and that's a basic guide to a one six two five jazz turnaround or introduction I should, I should say so i hope you found this video useful if you have please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to blackpool music skill for more videos the more thumbs up we get and the more subscribers we get the more videos we will post until next time take care keep practicing keep playing and as always goodbye <laughs>